Hello everyone. I hope everyone's well. Today we're going on to Lesson 5, Part A, Electromagnetism. And we talked a little bit about electromagnetism the other day, but electromagnetism is really a combination of electricity and magnetism. So it's a very strong force. Electromagnetism results when electric currents and magnetic fields interact with each other. Hans Christian Andersen of Denmark discovered there is a connection between electricity and magnetism. If you think about it, both electricity and magnetism are both generated by the movement of electrons, so it's not that surprising that they would be connected in this way. He was able to influence a compass with a wire carrying an electric current, and this was really his big discovery. So this is what he's most famously known for. I really want you to look at the video that is um, on this page. Please open it, play it, because it's kind of a hard concept to understand. So when you watch the video, it will make it clearer. Magnetism can be um, produced by electricity. Understead hypothesized that it was an electric current in the wire that produced the electric field, and he was right. He also found that the direction of the current also affects the magnetic field. So the direction the electric current is moving in what happens is he can actually move the compass. The compass should always be pointed to north, and compasses use iron in it, and the iron points to the magnetic field of north for the Earth. The, that's how you use a compass. But he used an electric field to actually move the needle of the compass, which should not happen, and he was able to do this. So how can, how can you make a magnet using a current? Well, there's a device called a solenoid, which is a coil of wire that carries an electric current and therefore produces an electric field. The more loops you have on it, these loops right here, the more loops you have, the stronger the electric field. And that's my baby calling me. He's showing me his puzzles, the puzzles. With an electromagnet, which combines, electri which combines the magnetic field, of the magnetized iron core, this combination creates a more powerful magnetic field than the solenoid alone. So when you use an electromagnet, it produces a much more powerful magnetic field. And that about wraps up today's notes. Please just reread these notes because they're a little more intense. Remember that an electrical, electromagnet uses electricity and magnetism. So it's the most powerful magnet. Watch the video. I'm sure you're probably going to have questions. I was thinking maybe tomorrow we can do a Google Hangout. So I think I'm gonna to try to put that in place tomorrow. All right, guys, I miss you. Bye-bye.